You good? Hole one, Loretto, uh, 600 feet to the B position where we'll be playing for the tournament. Uh, it's all about the drive. If you get past those trees there atop the hill, uh, you've got a nice 350 foot downhill approach to the green. Uh, there's a mando on the uh, farthest left tree here and a trash pile down there that's been marked as casual. Uh, you get casual relief from the trash pile. All two here at Loretto is just a little over 200 feet. Uh, some OB uh, creeks that run through twice on the fairway. Really anything that's not in the creek is going to be safe here. Uh, par three, nice little putter shot. Hole three at Loretto, uh, par three. You got two gaps here, one on the left, one on the right. Both of them are pretty skinny. Um, this hole, footage wise, is a little less than 300 feet, but it, uh, it plays well into the 300s going straight uphill. Uh, two guardian trees around the basket. Uh, definitely a, bird, a bonus birdie if you get it. Hole four at Loretto is 311 feet downhill. Uh, you got a mando on the left side of the fairway here pointing you right. Nice little ditch there uh, that will catch some disc. Uh, and this green plays pretty fast too, so you will have some rollaways. Mid range, putter, downhill. Uh, should be a two. Hole five at Loretta is 218 feet. Uh, three routes here. You've got the hyzer on the right, a dead straight route, and uh, what we call the West Beavis route to the left. I've never never tried that before. Wes, Wes usually parks it. Nice little shorty here. Uh, slanted fairway the whole time. Um, pretty fun little hole. Hole six at Loretto, uh, 233 feet. Two routes here. The uh, typical Anheuser right hand backhand turnover shot. A lot of people will throw a flick up there. Also, there is a uh, little hidden hyzer route up here to the uh, to the right. Got to go pretty high there though. Hole seven at Loretto, 244 feet, par three. Uh, one gap really. Uh, low, something that might skip to the left. Tight, pretty uh, pretty weird angle down there, but uh, it's doable. Hole eight here at Loretto, 289 feet, par three. Nice tunnel shot. You've got a double mando right off the tee pad. Uh, two positions here. We're going to be playing in B, which is the straighter of the two. Pretty tight fairway. Uh, something that you know you probably want to turn something over a little bit and let it flex back out at the end. Uh, probably a bonus birdie. So it's a hard get. Hole nine here at Loretto. Probably the signature hole on the course. Really tight off the fairway. Um, got a mando here pointing you to the right. Got to get down there uh, somehow. It's uh, there's a lot of trees. Uh, but a pure shot will get you there. Uh, definitely my favorite hole in the course. Hole 10 here at Loretto, 312 feet. OB on both sides. Uh, we're into the open portion of the course. OB gets pretty tight on the left side of the fairway, uh, about pin high. Uh, your bailout zone is definitely a big hyzer to the right. Uh, there's a lot more room over there. Hole 11 at Loretto, uh, right at 400 feet. Open most of the way, you got OB left and right, but it opens up at the end. As long as you can carry about 300 feet, you're gonna clear the OB, or stay in the middle of the fairway, you'll be safe. A lot of people are playing for the skip right at the edge of the woods. Um, try to skip up into the woods, and uh, you should be inside the circle. All right, hole 12 here at Loretta, 265 feet, par three. Got two routes here. Uh, turnover backhand, maybe a forehand flex. And then you've got the, uh, the hyzer gap here that it's recently cut. I wish it wasn't there, but it is. 265, you got OB down the uh, down both sides and then behind the basket, about 35 feet behind. Uh, hole 13 at Loretto, 352 feet. Definitely a distance control shot. You've got OB down the uh, left and right side. Uh, we're going to the opening down here in the brush line. Um, you have to be able to keep it up height and have something dive right at the last moment um, to get yourself in there for a, for a circle's edge putt. Hole 14 at Loretto, 525 feet, par four. Uh, OB pretty pretty tight out here on the left side. Uh, you wanna bite off as much as you can. Bringing this OB into it gives you a lot better angle for your second shot into the green. If you can see in the distance there, uh, this skinny tree is sticking out on the edge of the woods. The basket's gonna cut in there for about, about 45 feet off the fairway. Like I said, left side, it's gonna give you a better angle to, uh, to try to approach the green. All right, guys, hole 15 at Loretto, 530 feet, par four. OB's pretty tight on both sides, right and left. Uh, really, anything that you get to crest the top of the hill, you've got a really nice approach shot. Uh, back down the hill and then back up across a brush line uh, to set up your birdie look. Hole 16 at Loretta, 240 feet, par three. Tight OB here on the left side of the fairway. Opens up quite a bit on the right side here. Teeing off from down, in the, uh, down the other side of the brush line there, very low ceiling. 
Uh, anything really over to the right side safe. Uh, anything left side you're challenging. All right, guys, hole 17 at Loretto, par three, uh, 376 feet. Uh, you got a Mando here on the left side to uh, protect 18's basket. It's a, it's a big power hyzer. Um, anything really that you get on the edge of the uh, ditch, um, if you can challenge the uh, Bradford pear tree back behind the basket, um, you're usually sitting pretty good. Hole 18 at Loretto, 525 feet, par four. Uh, you got a Mando here on the left. Fairway falls the uh, baseball field there. Um, got OB to the um, left and obviously right. Pretty easy par four here. Hole eight. Oh man, hang on. We're good. I don't know what the distance is. Hole 12. Hole eight, 289 here at Loretto. Uh, par three in the B location, which is straight. That's where we'll be playing. Um, oh crap. Hole 13 at 11. <laughs> hole 13 at 11. Hole 13 at 11. Hole 12. Hole 12. Hole 12. Maybe on the uh, 9th green at 9. Dress nice.